Hello, you guys, and this is my review of Amazing Spider-Man 2. Um, you probably expected me to do, like, say, a actual vlog video of me and the video kind of deal. Um, but since I had to pack my things and go back home, since I'm a college student, um, I'd had to do a, um, voice version of it. Um, so, so in the review, I'm most likely just gonna do a spoiler-free review. I mean, not spoiler free, just... Yeah, so if you haven't seen the film, I wouldn't recommend watching this unless you enjoy spoilers, then it's all on you. Um, amazing, the main Spider-Man 2 continues where the last one left off with, with uh, Peter Parker, aka Spider-Man, and him trying to live a normal life, but he is, it's hard for him to be able to deal with hanging out with Gwen Stacy because of the promise he made to Gwen's father about being able having to stay away from her, from her to make sure she is safe. Um the main antagonist, uh Max Max Dillon who eventually becomes Electro. I've got to say he I don't know why but I kinda he I felt a bit of sympathy for him at times. Until, like, he's just, like, this guy who's just a no one who you just feel sorry for because everyone disregards him. He is, at being at being in film, he is the one who makes the power grid, which is the main, the main fight between Spider-Man and Alt Electro takes place at the end of the film. And he gets saved by it. Spider-Man, and he becomes obsessed with And, there's a lot more goes on, but, I mean, I'm gonna, I'd rather not get too much away, because, I mean, well, though, this is a spoiler review. Um, Harry, uh, Harry Osborne, Harry Osborne is introduced, and he's, and, we see the death of Norman Osborn, although you don't technically see his death, you just see a thing that says, a news report that says, Norman Osborn is now dead, blah blah blah. Um, I gotta say, the things I enjoyed about the film were the, the relationships between the characters, um, the relationship between, uh, between Peter and Gwen Stacy was very genuine. Um, it felt like this was very. It was a very good. Um, it was just a very good, well, over relationship was for a superhero film. Is it's as good as say um, Pepper Potts and Tony. Um, the villains, um, the Electro, although you do see the Rhino, but that's not until the end of the film. Um, Rhino, I mean, uh, I know a lot of people were probably annoyed that he was in the film, but he is technically only in the film for about, say, a total of, um, I think probably, say, uh, give or say, five minutes. And it's probably it's a really good five minutes. Um, um, Electro is really good in this film. Um, I probably he was probably the whole thing that I really most really enjoyed. Um, Jamie Fox. He was stellar as the character. Um, I do love the way they had done the Green Goblin, um, instead of just having Norman Osborn as the character, they had decided to make it Harry, who has been the Green Goblin before in the comics, and I'm just glad they decided to do this, like what they did for his transformation, because actually, it was actually kind of, um, I'd say it was a little bit chilling, I mean, people would say that the original, uh, 
transformation between uh, Norman Osborn and the Green Goblin in the original with Sam Raimi or Sam Raimi films um, was good. I gotta say this was a bit of a better transformation. The fight scenes are excellent. Um, well, I need to stop saying um. If all around it's a good film, there's been a lot of mixed reviews about it. But I've got to say, if you're gonna do a a uh action action film, uh, a superhero action film, you got to go bigger and better than the first film, which it does. Although it did feel at times like there was a bit too much things, like the subplots were mixing in with the main plots a bit too much. In a way, that worked for me, because, I mean, I figured out what was was going to happen seeing, since I have a bit of comic book knowledge. I don't know, I mean, it's not really a bad thing since I knew what was going to happen to Gwen Stacy. And it was a very, it was a very uh, heartfelt scene. Um, they really did uh, Gwen Stacy's death very well. Oh, and for those of you who really enjoy the character um, Felicia Hardy, aka Black Cat, you'll be happy to know that she is in the film. Um, There's a there's a lot of great stuff. Um, Dane DeHaan was really great as the uh, Green Goblin and as Harry Osborn. If I was to like give this film a comparison of like like say like uh between say the original Sam Raimi films and this and this version by Mark Webb. Mark, Mark, by Mark Webb, I've got to say, The Amazing Spider-Man 2 is actually better than Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 2. But that is just in my opinion. Don't take it personal. So yeah, I really had fun, fun watching The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Um, I would recommend going see it. Although I'd also recommend going to go see, um, going to see Divergent. Um, I haven't, I was going to do a review of the film, but it's sad to say, nah, it's, since I don't have that much knowledge for Divergent, I w probably wouldn't want to do the review because people will get pissed off at me because I am not doing the review justice because of, you know, books, details and all that. So yeah, 